all right what is going on everybody it is tristan and today in this video what i got going and there we are we're already messing up but today in this video what i got going on for you guys is we're going to be getting into a few shoes a few sneaker investments that are finally making some progress i don't think this will be too long of a video but we're just going to get into explaining a few of these shoes kind of what happened with them why they kind of went stagnant and then now kind of showing you all the progress that they are making and yeah that's really everything i have to mention you all will probably recognize some of these models because we have discussed some of these uh, you know, in the past. So that's really everything I need to mention there. You want to check my Instagrams, any of that down below, feel free. That's all down there in the description. And of course you can subscribe and like down below if you want to do that. Of course, again, the like goal in this video, let's just make it 250 likes, something simple. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that. And the support again, just, I don't know where it has come out of on these last few videos, but I, it's just, it's tremendous. Thank you all. Uh, like I, I didn't expect, you know, like all these like kind of, you know, new viewers, kind of people that I'm helping out in my comment section. It's kind of cool for me and uh, I appreciate that. So of course, any questions, any of that, also leave that below. I've been discussing too long though. So let's get into it and let's fix my voice with some Gatorade. So getting into it, the first one that I do want to mention is the Nike Dunk Mid Strawberry Milk. This one right here is actually a great hold in my opinion. Again, for the long term, I have a pair of these at my house, I believe, that I've just kind of been holding on to for a while. I got them for retail, so I'm not really concerned. I know I will never really be down on that model. And of course, this kind of reminds me of like, you know, the Strange Love kind of colorway a little bit, maybe with kind of at least the suede that they chose to use around the toe. But of course, the models are very different. Those two it just, you know, I see a little bit of similarities in some of the colors, if you can kind of understand what I'm saying there. But looking at these, I saw, I've been following these for a little bit. Some of these sizes, of course, used to be going for like, uh, you know, 190, 180. So seeing most of them are above 200 now, and some of those bigger sizes are starting to creep uh, into that 250 range. I kind of saw that too. Most people are kind of buying it for that. So when you look at it, excuse me, but yeah, maybe this will actually start kind of trending upwards a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, if you kind of look at some of the uh, smaller sizes and just the overall chart for the last month, if you go look at that right here, you can see down here it's like 219, 200, 220. And up here you can see it's at a 250, kind of 228, more or less 230. So higher prices are, this, this shoe's being purchased for higher amounts right now. Excuse me, geez. And the sales are starting to pick up a little bit too. I haven't looked at any particular size, but it's around 5,000 sales on StockX. The other colorway, of course, was much more popular. And we also called that one as a hold. But I think this one... We'll start making some progress in a bit. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Kind of seeing that it's actually starting to have some sizes creep up a little bit by, you know, a little 5 to 10 to $15 rises. Not really noticeable in a chart, but I've been following it. So kind of seeing that, that's just one I want to look out for. Kind of one that I would say is starting to finally make a little bit of progress. Uh, you know, on its sizes and overall as a hold because it's a good looking pair of shoes. I just think people got deceived a little bit by it because uh, I think it just looked slightly different than it did on pictures. I saw how hyped people were for these ones and I was like, okay, these ones will obviously do better based off the hype, but um, I think people, you know, found the reality and liked the brown colorway a lot more uh, on these ones. And that's why the other ones performed so much better on the hold. Uh, than these ones. People love changing their minds. That's what we got from it. <laughs> and another option I want to discuss with you guys right here, Nike Dunk Low What The Pole. Now, you know, you you know I'm a big fan of this shoe. You know I'm a big fan of this shoe. P-Rod, you know, X Games skater, uh, Nike skater, whatever you need to mention. He's, I don't know how his knees still work. Let's just keep it like that. <laughs> Um, but of course, shout out to him, you know, legendary skater. I don't really need to keep mentioning uh, him. If you've been here, then you understand what I've mentioned about him. I don't skate, but I still know who he is uh, thanks to my comment section. So I appreciate you all. And just from, you know, my homies too. Some of my homies skates, you know, they're really, really into, uh, you know, other skaters and just kind of, you know, let me know about them when I ask. But yeah, aside from that, looking at this one, if you go check out like a size 10 on this one, see it at like $600, you can see that this one has clearly been making some progress down here. Like kind of, you know, $400, 447 and now look at that all the way up here at $600 and having some consistent sales there right now, it looks like. I mean, uh, that's what I'm literally at least seeing and kind of getting from this. Let's go look at it. Yeah, look at all the 570, 590, 600. That's what the last few sales have been. So I think we're gonna start seeing that kind of form here on the chart and kind of new uh, kind of range of prices for this size. And that is like an over $100 rise. So that's just what I'm saying. Some of these uh, sizes, it's a good time to buy the what the Pauls. Like you will make money on these now. I can say that at least uh, there's already some other sizes that are going for a lot more. For example, like a size 12. That's one that's kind of a bigger size, which is, which is a good one to go for. A little bit higher stock too. Size 12 tends to be you know decent amount of stock. But that's just kind of one of the bigger sizes. They load up a little bit more. So kind of understanding that again, a really just crazy and unique pair of shoes. That's another thing I want to mention too. Like most shoes just aren't like this. Like they usually 
throw something throw, throw something together like this and it'll look like a hot mess, but this actually doesn't look too bad. I like this pair of what those most what those don't look great, but this one does. It's something that I like to mention about it. So aside from that, looking at these bigger sizes and how they're doing again, a size 12, very noticeable progress right there. You can see that's a straight dip. And now there you go, kind of 590 uh, and 540 right over here. And now you can see heading up towards uh, consistent sales right around 650. So that's good. If size 12 keeps selling above, uh, you know, 600, then that's already some progress on it, which that just kind of shows you that it's time to buy this one. Now. You'll have a good amount to buy this one though, because it's probably not going to rise very fast. It's going to probably be a long, long term hold, like a kind of collectible type thing. Or you get your pair to wear. That's all I got to mention because it's going to, you know, start going up. And finally, the last one I want to mention, the Jordan 1 Low Pollen. Now, uh, I know I was discussing sneaker investments that have started to make progress, and this one has already made a fair amount of progress. And this really goes, the reason I'm discussing this one, since this one has already, again, made a rise, uh, a pretty fair one too. So it's probably just going to flatten out for a little bit because this is kind of like a mustard colorway for a pair of Jordan 1 lows. Not super wearable in my opinion, but one that I definitely would mention aside from this one, if you're not into maybe the idea of holding this one long term, because I understand that. It's a little bit different than a pollen colorway. I don't know why they decided uh, to name, you know, this shoe that when they could have, you know, just like made the go golden rod in a Jordan 1 uh, low form and called that the pollen, but you know how it is. I still think there's a lot of room on the Jordan 1 low pollens, a ton of them actually. So you can hold those ones too, but this one is actually a really, really good hold, making some slight baby progress, actually not much at all yet. So this is one I'd kind of put a flag on, just kind of keep it in, you know, uh, you know, your favorites. If you got like a watch list of certain shoes, put this one in adult and grade school sizes on your watch list, put Thunder 4s in adult uh, in grade school sizes on your watch list, you know, the, the red colorway coming up, you know, those are definitely going to be a great hold. So plenty of shoes coming up that are holds. So if you just don't get one that you like, don't be afraid, you know, don't don't worry about it. There's gonna be future, excuse me, there's gonna be future drops, so don't worry. But do not sleep on this one, that's my opinion. And I think I mentioned this one like a week ago, so, you know, just we're gonna keep mentioning it. That's all we gotta say. So yeah, these three shoes, again, really some ones that I would focus on that are actually starting to make some progress. So if y'all wanna check those out, feel free. I'm not gonna link them down below, but you guys can, again, just kind of peep the names, remember them. And this is one that I really just have a watch on. The Jordan 1 Low Pollen is not a bad one to hold, but really any Jordan 1 Low with, you know, a decent kind of white and then another colorway uh, on color blocking. Those, any, anything like that is decent as a hold to say. But this one, again, is a little bit different, but it's a bread colorway. So, of course, it's a hold and it's a and Jordan 1 Lows are desired. Keep that in mind, too. So... That's everything I need to mention. Instagrams, all that are down below. If you all want to check those out, feel free to subscribe and like. Again, the like goal on this video is 250. So if we could hit that, that'd be dope. But if we don't, you know, it's not the end of the world. So I appreciate your guys' constant support. Again, the last few videos have been doing so well. I don't really understand why, but I'm going to keep putting out something consistent and good content for you all. Just stay tuned. And, you know, that'll be kind of what I try and deliver. So if you all, I saw some, I, I put out a post yesterday, like a community post on my YouTube. So I'm going to make sure that I check that out. That Y'all drop some video ideas for me. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I'll check those out. And we'll get some good content out just like today so i'm gonna end the screen recording it's everything that needs to be mentioned y'all can see i had a ton of tabs up just on my crypto stuff you know really been focusing on that too i'm interested in it and uh yeah in it <laughs> messing up my words but i will catch you on the next one i'm tristan and thanks for watching guys peace Oh